Okay. The okay. reflection by the uh, by the Catholic Church uh, concerning the the issue that was happening on the very fact of uh, of uh, the gassing that was going on in the country is very cardinal. It's very very important as a country that we should, as a matter of agency, uh, get the report of uh, what chemicals were being used in the gassing because people died during that process. And up to now, we have not received any uh, report from government to tell us. Uh, who has been incarcerated as a result of what happened. Our government has not told us on uh, what has really happened on the issue of gassing. And I think the Catholic Church is on the right footing to ask for a report immediately. And we as Democratic Party would like to uh, take uh, uh, that demand from the church as our own. We also want to know what has happened to the issue of gassing. The people have died. What is the position now? What chemical was used and what was involved so that we can all know and move on the same way? This issue of jumping from one issue to another without getting a fundamental report to Zambians is not correct. The issue also of CEC and ZESCO must come to an, to an end. ZESCO has a challenge of even distributing power to the domestic consumers. And yet, ZESCO wants to now go and begin running the issues of CEC. I think that's not correct. Let us allow CEC to continue running the way they have been running because they have accrued loans and uh, to just come in and say no we are assigning such an instrument number 57 in order to stand in the way of uh, CEC is not right. I think for once let the school concentrate on its uh, distribution and generation capacity which is still in question. It is important for us to look at strategic reserves of our country, strategic institutions of our country and look at them with a very deep sense of, uh, of solidarity. Uh, to those of my colleagues out there who are talking and speaking out, continue speaking out this is your country. Nobody should intimidate you. Nobody should tell you that this cannot be said. This is your country. And those of you who are speaking and then tomorrow you go and apologize, shame upon you. There is no need for you to speak facts and then feel shy. And then you go and start saying, no, forgive me, Papa, forgive me. That is not important. What is important now is to speak the truth. Because society will judge you by what you say now, by where you stand now, as opposed to where you stand tomorrow. So let us know what is true for once. So colleagues, let's all stand up. This is our country. Things are not right in this country. But I can assure you, you have an ally in the DP. We'll be together in this journey. And together, we'll triumph. I thank you.